Hey guys, this is Sebastian here. I'm going to be doing a sort of let's play of a game that I think is near and dear to uh, the hearts of many of us in the Fire Emblem community. It's uh, the first Fire Emblem game released in North America, known then as simply Fire Emblem, but now as uh, Reka no Ken, as it was named uh, in Japan, I guess, to differentiate you know, between the multiple iterations of the Fire Emblem genre. So, I haven't played this game in about 10 years. Um, I lost it in Madrid on a family vacation uh, and was uh, was pretty distraught about it. Um, I actually switched with another kid who I was staying with and I got his shitty Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, something like that. Whatever of the movies had just come out and he got a uh, Fire Emblem Reckon again. So, not the fairest trade in the world, but, you know, whatever. I'm over it. Kind of. Oh man, this takes me back. So, uh... I guess we'll roll with Mark. I'm Mark now. Because I don't want to go through and change all this stuff, so... I'm changing my name legally now to Mark. Sebastian is dead. Call me Mark. Uh, uh, no... I'm a male. My birthday's in July. That starts with a J. You know, this is this is all pretty close. It's close enough for me. Wrote battery. I did not write the battery. Uh, I think so. Hey! It's a girl! Kind of funny if her name was just girl. For, you know, the entirety of the game. The prophecy of girl. Oh, now she gets a name. That was pretty quick. I always liked the design of these little huts. I always wanted to live in one of these little huts. I think they're called yurts. It's like a, a Mongolian type thing, because she's from the plains. You know, she's a nomad or whatever. Not technically nomad, obviously. Yeah, I think Mark's not that odd sounding of a name. I think Sebastian's probably odder, but you know, I don't know the customs. Her name's Lynn. That doesn't seem that odd. Lynn's the kind of name that like a waitress in like a 50s themed cafe or diner in like the middle of the Midwest would be named. It's not really... I don't think anybody named Lynn would ever find anybody named Mark oddly named. But you know, whatever. To say planes, different story. Maybe they just all have very conventional names. Alright, don't have much choice. Not actually a playable character. Oh! Looks like there are two bandits out there. Oh, uh, you know those Burn Mountain Bandits. That sounds like a, a high school football team. The Burn Mountain Bandits. Yeah, I think they've got a pretty good chance at, uh, at state, you know, this, this year. Seeing as uh, here in the Burn Mountains of Wyoming, there aren't really any other high schools to compete against, so... Hmm. I'll be safe in this... Uh, in this very flimsy looking yurt. Take your word for it, Lynn. Nope, no, I'm useless. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of work for strategists, uh, I would think. You know, can't really freelance. Oh, there I am. There's the one cameo appearance of uh, the strategist. Alright, she's gonna protect me. And then, um, yeah, yeah, we know this kind of stuff. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe you guys don't know this stuff. Oh, what? Did she just, did she just eat me? I just, I just went into her. She said she was going to protect me and then, all right, you know, we'll, uh, we'll just move past that point, I guess. She needs to be close to the enemy, though. That's true, you know. It's often a lot easier to fight against somebody if you're closer to them emotionally and, and probably physically, too. But, all right. Um, uh, there we go. Just uh, to please the RNG goddess. I don't know if you guys have seen any of those YouTube tutorials on gaming the RNG goddess. Or it's basically a guy just like moves around the cursor a lot. I, I'm gonna do that because it obviously works. It obviously has a very low oh, bandit. All right, let's uh, let's get some advantageous terrain here. Uh, bandit, I think you'll find I have the high ground. 
Oh man. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. These sprites. Looking at these sprites on the back of the box in, in Target. Man, that's that's what convinced me to get them. And they still look beautiful on this emulator. Oh man. I could just watch, you know, a friggin' machinima feature length film of of just Fire Emblem sprites. They're beautiful. I actually I'm pretty sure I like them more than, you know, the Awakening and Radiant Dawn type graphics. Just because it seems like there's so much more you can do, so much less clunky, but yeah, personal, personal preference. Um, all right. By the Gur. Oh, they call them Gurs. They're not yurts, they're Gurs. It's a type of round hut. I still call them yurts. That's what Age of Empires taught me. I'll Wikipedia this after uh, I'm done with this, and, and we'll we'll settle the score. <laughs> I don't even remember what place. Let's move her there. Yeah, sure. Hey, no problem, Lynn. No problem. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Heal up, Lynn. Man, she only has 16 HP. That's crazy. That's crazy to think about. That's like two less than, um, what's her name? Olivia in Awakening, the dancer. That's, 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 uh, Poppycock. Let's attack from the left. He'll never see it coming. <laughs> oh, man, this guy looks like they pulled him from Contra. Look at that headband. Mm. <laughs> I have expect him to get out the little Contra gun and start shooting Lin. Oh, sucker! <laughs> man, Lin, you need to learn to fucking not just get hit by somebody who has a 40 hit chance. It's pretty shitty. All right, I will. I'll leave your dead body in the dust, and uh, Bada can do what he likes with it. I don't know. I mean, he wouldn't sink that low, would he? Nope. Ah, there you go. That's what 40 hit chance means. Oh. <laughs> I forgot how satisfying those crits are. Man. Nothing like having six of somebody. That's what I always say. On the street. To myself. Man, that's the first level. Man, well, just spoke too soon. Gotta capture the Gur, not the Yurt. Gotta capture the Gur. Man, I like. He's got. What's his name? I already forgot his name. That's really bad. But uh, I like what he did with his Gur. He's got two little additions there. Maybe like an aviary, a library, servants' quarters. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's bring this chapter to a close. You know, I thought this was going to be a lot of fun, and it is. Don't get me wrong, it, it is a lot of fun, but I forgot about all the tutorial shit that we're going to have to sit through. So, you know, it's just uh, it's just part of uh, Fire Emblem. And uh, we'll seize this girl. Hopefully Lynn will cough up my partially digested body, and we'll move on to the next level. All right, cool. It was uh, quick and painless. Kind of.